Welcome to another episode of Pin Mario Thousand in Your Door. Stick style. Ooh. So as you can see here, Mario and Kumbella are sleeping. Meanwhile, the old man here, he's like, what are these What are these young kids doing these days? How, how do you eating. know he's not snoozing? Probably, probably old man snoozing. You don't see his mouth on. You don't see his mouth like the other ones. Well, he's not snoring. Let's go. Right. Go, go up in that you trunk door. Whoa. Ooh. Hey, you. Can you hear me? Uh oh You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Me? I'm not Link. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else. Nothing. <laughs> See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Or Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Call me. Oh, yeah. Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So, you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So, first, you should look for the key to this box. Then use it to let me out. Definitely. I just got it in the previous episode. I was gonna say, is that what it is? By the way, the key looks like this. Oh, the black key? Well, what do you think we all do, Mario? Oh, let's open it up. <laughs> well, I know my voice goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's go <laughs> it's around here somewhere. Thanks, Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you. Oh, great legendary hero. Oh, you Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up. You brought the key. Yes, old man. I owe you big. Don't do it. No. Yes, thank ha. Ha. Thank nothing. We he fools. I knew it. It was a trap. Ooh. Oh. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. Well, you think I was gonna help you? Yeah. Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've injured in that dumb box. Mom does like that kind of language. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Buggly Wuggly Woo, you're cursed. <laughs> we he enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in a certain areas, you turn into a paper airplane. Oh no! <laughs> we trembling yet suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Oh no, the worst of the curse. Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on this airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try using Y. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. That's the worst? <laughs> I guess if you <laughs> if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's not... Okay, you know what? Or should I ask for him to explain again? No. Nice. That's a true man. curse. <laughs> yeah. That's why, boy. <laughs> Rip. Yes, I get it. It's terrible. <laughs> the worst. Wee <laughs> hee If you press B, you might return to normal, maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee <laughs> hee Oh my god, I suffered. <laughs> so, uh, wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? <laughs> Mad for no reason. I like how that guy just helped us out. <laughs> no, he's a terrible curse. Thanks, guy. Now I can get to the other part I wasn't supposed to get to. Mm. Oh, what's this? <sighs> the thousand year door. door. That's it. Final episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed you found it. it. <laughs> oh, Mario Gumbella, look at that. Oh, it's a door. <laughs> it's a thousand year door! Spoken of in the legends, I can't believe it's real. So legends are all true. There it is. Big as life. Come, let's move closer. Now yeah, I'm good. Actually, there should be a, a crystal around here somewhere. Hold up. Let me look for it. Well, you know, crystal, of course that. There should be a crystal around here somewhere. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, <laughs> I triggered it. Hold up, no. Wait, hold up. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. Mm. This is gonna be an entire episode, everyone. Trying to find a crystal star. Oh. Uh -oh. I like how Mario gets scared every single <laughs> every time something happens. You would have figured Luigi would have been the one who was scared. I know, Ma Mario's the big uh Mario's like Cuphead. He's mugman to see the day. Luigi. Oh What's this? That perspective though. And for you see the map flies into the sky. Oh oh that's it, it's oh. over. Oh! Oh! What does that mean? Boss. <laughs> oh. Ooh! You know, you could've just... Done the regular map. Probably. <laughs> Does it mean you have to come back to this every time we get a star? Yes. Wah! It's not that much of a pain. Press the map. And what was all those crazy lights? Herm. It appears that information related to the location of the crystal star has appeared. And that shining light, it looked as if the mysterious power was given to Mayo. Well, one way or another, we should return to the place and study the map closely. Oh yeah! Oh! It's a teleporter. It should have been a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Herm, oh you know, this, you know, fun fact, this game actually got a manga. What? Yeah. You understand it, Professor. <laughs> My dear, of course I do. It's just a bunch of pictures. <laughs> I can't get the, a kid knows what to do with it. <laughs> My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my, rec mm, by my reckoning, Mario cannot perform what is known as a special move. A special move? I'm wondering what that could be. <laughs> yes, it. Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to- No, thing. Oh, wait, no! Mm. Nice, go in there. Oh, my God. It's your superpower now, right? Oh, I want to kill this one, man. <laughs> oh, man. So, oh, yes. Yeah, it's a 10, right? So the, yes, you see that you you know you have a limit and you get it. You can use a special move, sweet treat. You use it to heal up. Like so. But if you get the poison one, you you uh, fail. Like that. So the thing is you get the flowers, you restore your F FP and you get the and you do the if you do the the ones that are with the characters, you you get the HP for them. Okay, okay. And yes, you, you waste it depending which one you waste a certain amount. But the thing is, you, the audience fills up the stars. The more stylish moves, the better you do it. No, the more you get. Oh, people are finally joining the theater. Yes. <laughs> There's no good, come on! You get to do action commands and stylish moves in order to do this, okay? So we got, we're gonna do this. Why are you beating up that poor old man for? Because we can. So yes, can we leave now? Basically... Oh my god. Palm bitches get stars, do super. Most stars. Oh my god. Oh yes, it's the audience. What's the max audience? 200? What? The max amount of audience members. Yes, audience 200. Mmm, oh, okay. it's gonna take for everyone. What do you gotta do to them? Mess them up! Oh yes, the audience, if they like it, you get those things and you, you could... Yeah. Wow, what does that do? Uh, -oh. uh since uh, since it was a sprite, your HP and FP and, and your star power all go up. And a bunch of people just showed up. Yes. So yes, can we leave now, sir? Oh. 
Oh, you gotta press X. <laughs> it's like you try to kill. You try to kill me, try to kill you. Disturbing the peace. So yes, that's a, that's a tutorial. So it's a pedal me pedal medals. Yes, yes. The, the area is vast, middle that lies the east of Rocky Port, Road Port, <laughs> Road Port. <laughs> Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to pedal metal onwards, huh? <laughs> Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, where did you get that map anyway? Oh, you know, Princess just gave it to me. <laughs> For the Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? Uh, yes, yes, that Princess. Mm. So it is her! Your Princess came to see me the other day. She wants to learn about the treasure. You know, the, the man could have mentioned that before. <laughs> you sound half asleep. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's an off the pedal mails you to go. And Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must to catch up to her. Collect the credit stars and means to end an end to what the end of Princess Peach. Okay, let's continue. This guy. Give him the map. No, I stay in the town and ask around Princess Peach and ask the suspicious, suspicious gang. Uh, besides, I'm so sure of something, something. Man, forget, forget the dialogue. It's time to get to the game. <laughs> you got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Why well, he gonna interrupt us again? Look, we're gonna try to get out. Wait just a moment. <laughs> the power smash. A hammer, a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Whoa! I wonder what that's from. It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you get more and more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip the badge. Would you like to appreciate? No, I know, because I just did it. Yes, yeah, so and now by FP, F, you know, badges use your FP. You have a certain amount of FP, so you have to not waste it. Uh, I showed you how to use it, and then we can't. So this is our bad news right now. Uh, I got the the pretty lucky one now. Okay. So back to the history of what I have with this game, and the answer is great. I I, I borrowed it from this dude right here mm. for the N64 to play it on my N64. You see, when I played on the N64, I finished it over the summer, and I liked it. I sucked at it, but I was able to beat the game. But that's all G Paper Mario Boy. So, and the thing is, in 7th grade, I got curious. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh yeah, this is the dude who uh, you get badges from with those pieces anyway. So the thing is, uh, continue my story. And then in 7th grade, I was able to get my hands off from this fool. So I decided to play it. So, I decided to play the end of summer, this game by the end of 7th grade because I enjoyed the first one. And Jesus Christ, it was amazing. And you see this dude? He's having, a, he's, he's having a night. So, yeah, I played it in the end of 7th grade. And Jesus Christ, this game was all I could talk about at school. I, I beat the, the Pits of 100 Trials and everything. Anyway, let's continue. Let's just mess up this dude's peaceful wow. day. I know. He didn't want to do nothing. All right. He, he, he was doing nothing. We're like, it's time to mess him up. Oh, uh, you know, he returns a sticker star. Sorry. <laughs> who? Blue, 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 blue. Who just up? Who just up and whacked someone's toosies like that? Uh, Mayo. <laughs> Somebody with some serious moxie. That's who. It's trying to mess you up. Man, I don't oh, care. Guy. I don't care what you say. I don't care about your day either. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. He don't care about his day either. Yeah. <laughs> Lousy 2 damage, boy. How much HP does this thing have? Oh. Oh. Slap. Oh. Oh. The slap. The then the villa slap. No, they ain't no. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard that in a while. So, fun fact. This game, guys, on manga. So, for those of you who don't know. Mario has his own uh, manga series. It's called Super Mario Kun. It has over 50 books. It has over 50 books, right? So the thing is, that series still goes on to this day. 
I never got a book because it was only released in Japan only. Go on. Rip. And the thing is, each book will be based off like a new Mario game that, that will come out. A new Mario game that came out. And the thing is, when this game out, they just had to give it some manga. So they. they what are you talking about, boy? Uh, the Super Mario Kuna. So. You know, when a new Mario game would come out, they, uh, they would like write a manga based off the new Mario game that came out. The ma the series still go goes on to this day. And when this game came out, they gave it to a manga too. It was number 34, I think. It was it, w it had two books to finish it finish it off. And so yeah. No, she dead. I don't care. <laughs> so yes. Oh shoot. Nice going there. So yes, it got some manga. I saw pictures of it, and it, it seemed pretty good. And that's the end of the prologue. Three episodes. Yeah, it's like we we're finally gonna begin. Oh snap! The adventure officially begins. Chapter now. one. Finally. Castle and dragon. <laughs> Just like every other RPG. Uh. Paddle medals. Oh, that beat. Gonna get copyright strike by Nintendo. I think it's on copyright. Is there anything copyrighted for this? You know. I mean, I have Mario RPG background music. The, the, I I've used the music before and I haven't gotten in trouble with it. Oh okay, go on. Well, here we are. The pedal meadows where folks say a crystal star hides. I thought I thought the map said it hid. <laughs> Not the people. Mm -hmm. Whoa ho! Here we are. Here we go, Mario. The start oh, of our adventure. This is completely oh, awesome. Hold up. That's not a nice remix, boy. Hold up. Let's go. So, oh, wow. Yeah. This guy knows all the secrets. No, I don't. Oh, ah. Mamma Mia! What's that? Okay. Is the dragon? Yeah, there's a dragon. Look. The dragon. So the dragon is not Bouncer. No. A Bouncer. Bowser is in this game. I know. In his own story mode. Oh, is that? Oh wow, Mario! Look. I swear, I wonder how Mario is like. Mario just like he's like I'm gonna go hang out with my princess, and then all this just happens within 30 minutes. <laughs> totally incredible! I've never seen anything like humongous before. It looked kind of scary too. Weird. Professor Franklin said this place was beautiful, peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and already there's int there's intrigue. Come on, Mario. What, bro? What about Mario? Mario just came here and you decided to mess up his day. Yeah. Well, I had nothing to do with this. Right. Anyway, let's continue. So, yeah, he got his own manga. My, my weebu self wants it, but I can't. Because <laughs> it was Japanese only. Got him. So, yeah, the thing is, I saw a person sell, selling all the books online. Like, all 50 books of Super Mario Kun. But the thing is, it's like 500 bucks. No, thank you. <laughs> How many books are there? 50 bucks. The manga still goes on this day. It started 1990. 50 bucks at 500 bucks? What? So it's like 10 bucks a buck? Yeah. Not bad to be honest with you. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. So each like book came out for like a particular game that came out during that time. Super Mario Sunshine got one. Uh, Super Mario RPG got one too. Super Mario Mario got one too as well. Well, we should've been playing RPG. What? We should've been playing RPG. What? Here's a little fun fact. Did you know that this is the technically the sequel? The third one. Yeah, the third to the Mario P. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I replaced him with RPG because someone says I'm not man enough for it. I'm not man enough. Why? Here's a little history behind that. Get I don't know if you know. What? T t tell me the story. Uh, Super Mario, Super Mario RPG was the. Collaboration with Square Enix? Oh, Square Enix, the creators of uh, Final Fantasy. I said the Square Enix was Squaresoft at the time. Squaresoft and, uh, and Nintendo. And after their after they finished doing their thing, I don't remember the exact reason why they couldn't, but they couldn't. Oh, you know, I, I don't think I could jump for that yet. No. No, I need the Cooper. They wanted to continue the story line. Oh yeah, they, they said they at, before the game was even finished, the creator was the the dude from Square, SquareSoft went to Nintendo. They were like, "Yo, 
we we'll make a sequel because <laughs> they enjoyed making the first game but Nintendo was like no biggest regret <laughs> was it no I thought they had a falling out we're gonna have to fight check that one I remember it was like Squaresoft that's Nintendo if they could make a sequel before the game was even finished well anyway the the sequel that was released because they couldn't use the, the Squaresoft Oh, you about to get hit. The Squaresoft um, stuff, that's why they created the, the Mario, Paper Mario series. Yeah, because they wanted to make a sequel, but they couldn't get the license to it. Yeah, yeah. Ah, shoot. Oh, he dealt. So, yeah, continue. So, there's one, oh, oh. He dealt. Uh huh, continue. So, I mean, that was it. That's how they got Paper Mario. <laughs> yeah, they tried making a sequel. They were like, they couldn't, they couldn't get the, they couldn't get the license to it. Oh, no, level no, up. I'm pretty sure there was a, uh, I'm pretty sure there was a, there was a reason why they couldn't make another one. But Nintendo wanted to continue the series. From DP. Yeah. Because I prefer badges oh, over everything else. Wow. Have you heard of the badge only, the BP only run? Where the challenge is to only use badge power for the entire game to level up. Is that possible? Yeah. So the person did it for the final boss. The final boss has a five, like two minutes. Because of all the badges he had. Stick style. Oh. Don't mention that game! <laughs> Don't even remind me of that boy. We need that because I want specific, specific badges because back then I didn't even know what badges even was during this game. I was like, what's that supposed to be? <laughs> Biggest regret of my life. <laughs> now I know about it. Alright guys, hope you've been enjoying so far. Mm, I know, I've been enjoying it. See you guys in the next episode. Get that up, boy.